What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so what it wants us to do on this problem is it wants us to sketch the curve and indicate the direction. So it gives us a vector function, r of t. It says that x is equal to cosine of t and y is equal to two sine of t. So as far as I'm aware, the best way of solving these problems is just plugging in values for t that look good. So always when you have cosine and sine, let's start with zero, how about that? All right, so zero. When we have t is equal to zero, so basically, that means that r of zero is what we're solving, first of all. It's gonna be equal to three cosine of zero, it's gonna be one, or it's gonna be three, right? And then two sine of zero is equal to zero. So let's plot that. This is t is equal to zero. All right, so let's do pi over two next. How about r of pi over two? What's that gonna be equal to? So cosine of pi over two is zero, and then sine of pi over two is gonna be one, so it's gonna be two. So our next point. All right, so this is t is equal to pi over two, all right? So we're going from there to there, and we have sine and cosine, you're gonna know it's gonna be kind of circular. Like if we have r of t is equal to cosine sine, it's just gonna be a circle, right? So it's probably just gonna look a little bit something like this, and don't forget your arrow's pointing in that direction. You know, that's how you indicate direction, because t is equal to zero here, and then it increases in time to go there. So let's go ahead and do r of t is equal to pi. So cosine of pi is negative one, so it's gonna be negative three, and then sine of pi is zero, obviously. So we're gonna go to negative three over here. And this is where t is equal to pi. So obviously it's gonna get connected again, arrows to indicate direction. Now I'm pretty sure you guys can assume what's gonna happen next. Let's say r of three pi over four. So three pi over four, this is gonna be zero, and this is gonna be negative one, so it's gonna be negative two. So it's gonna go down here. This is t is equal to three pi over four. Uh, never mind. Wait, yeah, this is 3 pi over 2. That's what I meant to say. All right? And you can even do intermediate values if you want. Like, for instance, if you use every single value of t, like doing like an integral or something, you just eventually end up with this curve. So then we go back to pi. Let's go back to 2 pi. 2 pi is going to give us all the way back to here, obviously, and it's going to keep completing the slope. So this is what our curve looks like. It just goes in a circle, and it has our vectors pointing us, or it has our arrow directions showing us which way we're going. So that's how you solve these kind of problems. Pretty simple, but they get complicated. So just keep track of what's going on and make sure your graphs are very clear and labeled. Um, it's probably a good idea to label your points, basically. So yeah, that's how you solve these kind of problems. Good luck on your Calc homework.